Today, I want to speak about something that as a member of the mob, one should never do, and that's making an enemy of the FBI. The story revolves around a conversation I had one day with my captain at the time, Big John Castellucci. He mentioned the comment that he made to an agent regarding the agent's brother during an arrest. That agent's name is Steve Byrne, and the agent's brother was NYPD officer Edward Byrne. Back in the late 80s, crack cocaine became the drug of choice for many users. The epidemic particularly plagued the black communities, such as Jamaica, Queens. During that time, Howard Pappy Mason and Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols ran a Jamaica, Queens crew called the Bebos. The crew predominantly made their money in drugs. In fact, they supplied drugs to another infamous Jamaica, Queens crew called the Supreme Team. At around 3 a.m. on February 26, 1988, police officer Edward Byrne was sitting in his patrol car in South Jamaica. He was protecting a potential witness, someone who made numerous police reports regarding the Bebo's crew dealing crack on his block. At the time, Happy Mason was incarcerated on a gun charge, but he wanted to send a message to the police department. So approximately on that night at 3.30 a.m., a car pulled alongside Officer Burns' patrol car. Two of the passengers exited. One knocked on the patrol car's passenger window, while the other walked around and shot Edward Byrne five times through the driver's window. Edward Byrne, who was a rookie officer, died a short time later at the hospital. He was 22 years old. Following his death, President Ronald Reagan called his family to offer his condolences and future President George Bush was gifted Burns' police badge. For those of you who remember this incident, it was a major event. Now that I gave a brief background, I'll get to Big John's statement. According to him, following his arrest, he turned to FBI agent Steve Byrne and said to him, I'm glad they killed your brother. In my opinion, that comment will definitely come back to bite Big John one day. 